What's up everyone, welcome to the channel Andro News. Different exclusive gadgets often come to our hands and we're here to tell you about them in time, without waiting for official presentations. And today, I want to tell you about the Google Pixel 3 Lite smartphone, codenamed Sargo, which will be in the market in the spring exactly after the Google I.O. conference. We had a chance to get a pre-production sample. So let's see what kind of smartphone it is, and let's find out if it's worth our attention. Let's start with the obvious things. Pixel 3 Lite is a cheaper version of the Pixel 3, which was introduced in early October. Both devices are very similar in appearance, but there are still some differences. For example, the whole body in Google Pixel 3 Lite is made from plastic, instead of metal and glass in Pixel 3. And the power button has a brighter color than in Pixel 3. The SIM card tray is now on the left side, not the bottom one. The main camera doesn't have an additional autofocus sensor, and there's only one front camera, while Pixel 3 has two front cameras. Moreover, Pixel 3 has two multimedia speakers on the front panel, while the light version has only one, which is located on the bottom. There is also a Type-C and a microphone. On the top there is a second microphone and a standard audio jack. I'd like to mention that Pixel 3 doesn't have it. The device is quite compact, it lies comfortably in your hand and can be easily used with one hand without any problems. Now you can see the specifications of Pixel 3 Lite on your screen. And I want to pay attention to the Snapdragon 670 processor. The new chipset is so new that many popular benchmarks still don't know how to properly recognize it. The processor is very good by itself, and its power will be enough for the vast majority of people even in the future. Another important point is that the smartphone has only 32 GB of local memory. And I understand that for many people it may seem so small, but Google relies on its cloud service, because when you buy a Google Pixel, you get unlimited cloud storage of your photos and videos in original quality, without compression, at least for next two years. By the way, Sargo shows almost the same result as Pixel 3 in terms of the battery life. In general, it's not surprising because it's a strong side of all Pixel smartphones. But let's move on to the most interesting part – the camera. I know that many people want to buy Google Pixel not because of the materials, not for pure Android and quick updates, but only because of the camera. And if it's really like that, then I can help you save a lot of money. Because Pixel 3 Lite takes the same quality photos as the Pixel 3. You can see examples of photos on your screen now. If you need only camera and nothing more, then there's no point in wasting more money for more expensive versions of this smartphone. So, this was the first quick review of Google Pixel 3 Lite. If you still have any questions about this smartphone, feel free to leave comments and ask. We'll be happy to answer and help you. We promise to show you another exclusive reviews in the future. Subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss new videos. Feel free to share this video with your friends. And may Android be with you.